internationally for years and years and years. He was yes. in the, the Red Bull culture clash yeah. with like over 30,000 people in the O2 arena a couple months ago. Big up to Willie Chin from Black China. Let me ask you the question first. Yeah. And this is probably going to be a hard one to answer. How did this all start? Um, how did this, what do you mean? DJing? DJing, but like how did, how, what would you attribute to Black Chinese success, like, like raging success over the past couple yeah. decades? Man, it's been a long, long, long road. I don't know when it started. <clears throat> started in my room, bedroom, watching dopes, watching, he was like, yo, record my mixed shows for me when he was playing on the radio. Uh -huh. So that's when I was like, yeah, all right, cool. Let me start listening to music. Then, then I went to some parties. I heard some other DJs, I was like, damn, I could do better than this. So oh. that's where the, the DJing started. What year did that? Work? That's like at least over mm, 20 years ago. Uh, 20. <laughs> yeah, somewhere. <laughs> 1990 something. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere back there, you know? And with the, the remix CD thing, is it a thing where you guys like came out and said, yo, we're just going to remix everything and everybody's going to love it? Or did it take you by surprise at all? It actually took us by surprise. Like we didn't even know we were big for a long time. Like. We, Right. It's true. Like back then, there was no social media the, stuff. Yeah, so. there's nothing. So you don't know you're you're mashing up Germany, you're mashing up Jamaica, you're mashing up Toronto. Yeah, you don't. You have no idea. Yeah, every every. I don't know what everywhere else, Bridget, but yeah. like Toronto, everybody had a black Chinese city in the two. Toronto was one of the first places that embraced black Chinese like fully, fully, fully. Yeah, like it was it was incredible. It was like one of those things. Like I remember like having a black Chinese city in the deck at all times. No yeah. iPod back then. Yeah, and then days then when you had. We gave you the 10% you said today, the yeah. edited versions, but the CDs were raw. Yeah. You're going to get that version tonight. The raw, used to, uncut. You used to have the CDs in the deck, and then, then one, two times when you had to drive your parents around, and as soon as they got in the car, you turn it on. Yeah. All you hear is cussing. <laughs> Instantly check. <laughs> Everybody was rocking black Chinese CDs. They were amazing, man. You guys, you guys did an amazing yeah, job. Give thanks, give thanks. Still doing the remix thing, though, now? Yeah, still doing it. Um, Trying to do more production. You know, Dips is heavy in the production too right now. I don't know, you know, controller. Yeah. Too good. Yes. Along with a bag of other songs you might know. You know, uh, Juicy Drake, man. It's Toronto. You Drake, know, we represent yeah. all of that. You know, Eminem, Projects, Bruno Mars. One of the main MCs for Black Chinese, Walshy Fire. Now the Fire, MC Major for Lazy. one of the yeah. biggest things in the world, which yeah. is Major Laser right now. So Black Chinese so, has definitely left his mark on this world and still doing big things. Yeah, so you might not hear us on the mixtape scene as much, but we're doing other work, you know? Definitely. You definitely got to progress and move forward and yeah. start doing different things. So speaking of different things, let me ask you a question. And don't think about it too hard. Just <laughs> off the top of your head. First thing that comes to your head. Your tour international. You being, you were in Dallas just a couple of days ago. Tomorrow you're flying out to New York. You go all over the place. What would you say is one of the craziest DJ experiences of your career? Like, what stands out? It would be the Red Bull thing. That was crazy. Crazy. It just... It's a dope uh, idea. It's four different cultures, four different genres of music yeah. under one roof, what everybody would love, you know? Yeah. Like, how you get all those people to appreciate music in one spot. Yeah, it was over 30,000 yeah. people in England, and it's like, I remember seeing video, and just like, it was just mad. Yeah, it's it? reggae, dancehall, hip-hop, grime, garage. Everything on dub. Yeah. Crazy. I heard some like Ed Sheeran dubs. I yeah. heard like, oh, you guys, you guys killed it. That would definitely, that, that, yeah, that's a good highlight. Place. Especially like if you listen to Black China Mix, we're pulling music from everywhere too. Yeah. So it's not like it's straight dance hall, you know? Yeah. You're going to get some oldies, some soul, some country, like anywhere. Yeah. You guys have always, like for a, over a decade now, you've just always incorporated all genres of music. Yeah. But somehow brought it back to reggae, dance hall, or soca. It all ties in somehow, some way. And it's so dope. I, I, I just... I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. I've always been a big fan. So uh, big up to yourself. You're like one of the first remix guys where like, you know, DJs don't like to play other DJs remixes. Yeah. That's like taboo. But even back in the day, you'd be in the club and all you hear is Willie Chin remix, Willie Chin remix, Willie Chin remix. <laughs> like straight off they, of the CD. But you know, they didn't business because the remixes were so dope. They weren't trying to take credit for it. Yeah. They were just so wicked. They had to play it. Right. So we're ready for them tonight. That 2000 sweat, you're coming with some fire. Yeah, yeah. This is only 10%, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm even nervous to play right now because... <laughs> <laughs> You I'm never not know. Mess in that laptop. <laughs> I don't want to get nobody fired, you know. I like I like my show, eh? I like yeah, it. yeah. I like your show too. I like my Friday morning. So thank you for that. Gonna give you the full hundred tonight inside the view. One ninety five Galaxy Boulevard, alongside a good friend of yours, Jester. Yes. DJ Busby, Junior Menace, uh, DJ Shy, Jags, DJ Jeff. Everybody's gonna be in the building. Get your tickets right now at www.ticketgateway.com.
You can also pay more at the door. And we're going to talk back in just a bit. Let me enter this commercial break. Everybody else, if you want more information on the big dance going down tonight, don't touch that dial 